Bjorn, thanks so much for joining us. Really appreciate your time. Historically, Volvo has always meant to most people safe, reliable. How do you move that forward for today and for the future? So Volvo has always been about safe and reliable, uh, and all of that is based on our very human-centric roots. As you take that into the future, there are other aspects around safety that we have focused more on without giving up safety. We are uh, a brand for people who care about other people. We, as we move into premium, we do that in a way that is not an exclusive, bling, extrovert type of premium, but rather an inclusive type of premium understated, refined. You don't need to shout that you're successful. You can be slightly more refined around who you are. But then on top of that, we need to make sure that dependable doesn't become boring. Uh, and that's why we have worked so hard with making fantastic Scandinavian design, make the car be really elegant, but in an understated way, which is something that attracts a lot of people and is much more in tune with society. So, so what changes are you bringing to your approach to marketing as a company in order to achieve that? I think one of the major things is marketing cannot be about making stories. It has to be genuine and real. Uh, so you need to actually do change, not, not say you're changing. We have a major sports event, Volvo Ocean Race, that we have owned for many, many years. Rather than just shouting out the Volvo name in conjunction with a race like that, you make something meaningful out of it. And this year we focused tremendously on sustainability. We focused in on the problem with plastic and microplastics in the ocean. And then we start to think about how can we affect this from a Volvo perspective and say, how can we design cars with a higher content of recycled plastics? And we developed quickly a concept on how that could do. We made a strong commitment now that 25% of all the plastics in our cars by 2025 should be recycled, which creates an incentive for creating a market for used plastic, and hopefully that is one part of solving this problem. So it's actually starting from not doing marketing for the sake of doing marketing. You use dialogues with consumers and employees to do better. It seems to me you're talking about sort of purpose-led marketing, something that seems to be adopted by a lot of big global companies now, they're trying to show consumers, buyers, that there's more than just a product, there's a purpose. Is that what you'd say you're trying to do with Volvo today? Definitely. We're definitely going on a kind of purpose-based, and I wouldn't say purpose-based marketing. We are a purpose-based organization. Uh, if you're a purpose-based marketing, that's kind of fake. That's icing on the cake. The cake has to be about purpose. And then marketing is just the icing on that cake on how you convey that and how you interact with, with your consumers. So w would you say that Volvo, given the relentless focus on safety, on reliability, sometimes to the detriment of style, of sexiness, has always had that kind of intrinsic purpose then? We always had a higher purpose in terms of our human centricity and safety. It's been a, and a purpose and a passion, always obsession in some parts of the organization. And that's the strength that we draw from. Uh, and we are now taking that passion and expanding it to slightly broader, broader areas. Uh, so safety is still core, but you can think broader. And what we talk about, our great purpose as a company is to bring freedom to move to the society in a personal, sustainable and safe way. Would you say that from a marketing perspective, that Volvo is moving away from safety as a sales tool, per se? It's still a very important part of the Volvo pr value proposition of Volvo. It will continue to be a key part of the value proposition of Volvo, but it's not the only value proposition of a Volvo as we sell cars now. And one of the reasons why it would be very unwise to, like to leave that, first of all, <laughs> there's still too many people who get killed in traffic, so it's a very, very important purpose for us to continue working on. And as we get to higher adoption of autonomous technology, we as a society have a chance to really address that problem. And one of the major hurdles to leverage that lever that autonomous technology enables is to build consumer trust in that technology. And Volvo will play a key role in helping get consumer adoption of this technology because we will implement that technology but we will do it in a safe and sustainable way hello i'm james wright thanks for watching marketing media money to check out more online videos just click on the boxes and don't forget to subscribe to the cnbc life channel at the bottom of the screen